Peristine anal plug is a simple and discreet aid for fecal incontinence, intended to function as a barrier to the solid output in the rectum. It takes the worry out of socialising with others and makes it a little easier to live with fecal incontinence. Peristine anal plug is inserted just like a regular suppository. It's designed with a soft foam that expands to the shape of the rectum and reduces the risk of skin irritation by creating an effective seal. It's available in two sizes, small and large. When you talk to patients, try to help them determine which anal plug size works best for them so they choose the one that is most effective. There are four simple steps in how to use the peristine anal plug. Preparation, insertion, use and removal. Peristine anal plug needs to be lubricated and then inserted as a suppository, leaving the gauze outside the body. Once inserted in the rectum, it will expand to full size and the film dissolves in the body's natural warmth and moisture. Peristine anal plug must be removed no later than 12 hours after insertion. Peristine anal plug is removed by gently pulling the gauze. A fresh plug can be inserted immediately after removal of the old one if required. The anal plug takes a little time to get used to for patients who have normal sensation in the rectal area. Often this is not the case for patients who have reduced or impaired sensation. Your professional guidance in the first time use of the peristine anal plug is vital. Peristine anal plug must not be used by patients who suffer from hemorrhoids, third and fourth degree, or anal stenosis. If patients are suffering from diarrhea, the plug may be expelled. It must be kept out of reach of children. If placed in the mouth, the peristine anal plug will expand and may cause choking. Peristine anal plug gives your patients the freedom to participate in social events or in sports activities such as swimming.